didn't expect to actually be nursing in this video. I haven't seen anyone else talk about this on YouTube, so I wanted to share. Hi friends, welcome to today's video where we are talking all about breastfeeding. Hi, I'm Kara Connolly, mother to two, experienced mom when it comes to breastfeeding, nursing, and so I'm not a doctor, but I am gonna go over all of the things that I wish I would have known before I started breastfeeding and the things that helped me the most, the tips, tricks, and just like the must-haves in general. If that sounds like your kind of thing, hit that like button hit that subscribe button because I will be making more content like this for you I'll do a whole series on pumping nursing breastfeeding I guess nursing and breastfeeding are the same thing but you know the must-haves the tips and kind of get into the nitty-gritty so with that thanks so much to those of you who do subscribe because it really helps my channel out like I said I'm a mother to two. I nursed Evangelina until she was 14 months, and I'm currently nursing my five-month-old Azura, and so things are going really well with Azura. Things got off to a shaky start with Evangelina, and so I wanted to share the things that I wish I would have known at that point because with Azura, things are just clicking so much easier now that I'm a second time mom and it's my second time through. So I'm just gonna talk to you about what I wish I would have known. Any products that I talk about, I will be linking to Amazon below, so you can check those out if you want to after the video's over. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing, I'm gonna be using the baby doll Luna and a balloon to represent nursing, basically, like a nipple. And so when you want to latch the baby when it's time to eat the baby will and the lactation consultant in the hospital said this and it's been stuck in my brain but you want to wait until the baby's like singing in the choir like they should have their mouth open like oh like you know like really wide and they kind of like bop around so when they're like bopping around if i like their mouth is open you kind of like bop like okay your mouth is open now you like bop them on so i'm going to show you it's like they're like bopping around like finally okay their mouth is open then you like help them put their mouth on the nipple. And you want your nipple like as far back in their mouth as you can. And a little tip is like, if you grab and like squeeze this part of your breast and like kind of help put it in like a hamburger or a hot dog or whatever, yeah, you know, like a hamburger, then you help them get more in their mouth. So that's just something I wish I would have known. And then the other thing is the baby needs to be facing you like this not like this not like this not like i don't know what i was doing with ava but like as soon as someone said no you need to be facing the baby like directly towards you you know like that chance so with ava i had really bad pain nursing for the first two months for the first eight weeks every time i put her on it was excruciating maybe not excruciating but it hurts so bad and um I just wish I would have known some of these things beforehand. So people always say, oh, nursing shouldn't hurt. I don't think that's true. I think at first it hurts a lot. I went to a lactation consultant group at one point. I was like desperate and there was another girl in there and she was like, why do so many people say it doesn't hurt? Like it hurts so bad. She was in tears and obviously being a new mom and like not sleeping and stuff will make you more emotional and all the hormones or whatever but she was in a lot of pain so i'm telling you that not to discourage you but just to encourage you if you are feeling pain it, you're not alone it takes a little while sometimes and get help get help early don't wait like i did if there's something you can be doing that can improve maybe a lactation consultant can help you figure that out and why suffer if you don't need to um i did have a bad experience with one lactation consultant she stuck a needle in my nipple with no pain numbing or anything to try to like help with like a milk blister thing oh my gosh it was such a nightmare I'm like being triggered right now it's so upsetting but yeah oh my gosh sorry I thought I heard the baby cry does anyone else hear phantom crying sometimes raise your hand put a comment below like if you do i really want to know yeah i had this like milk blister thing come up but that is a story for another video um that was after the pain ended that was like four months into nursing and then everything was fine and all of a sudden it started hurting again and if something like that happens to you go 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 um another thing especially at first you might want to try a different position so like this is like the regular 
and I don't know what they call it, like average position, but there's also a football hold. So you can hold the baby like this and they can get a different latch, a different angle. And the, so I started getting mastitis. I had like a backed up duct with Azura. This never helped, happened with Ava. And I did everything for it, everything. And the only thing that helped clear it up was actually putting the baby on this way. So I just don't think she was getting at that angle to like get that milk out of that particular duct. So that was the one thing that helped me. So if you start getting mastitis, try that. Or if you start getting a backed up duct or anything, you can try that. But yeah, there are like different holds that you can do. And make sure you're putting it, the baby, especially at first, on both sides because you want your milk, you want the baby to signal to your body that you need milk on both sides. So that's just really important. Going back to pain, okay, I had so much pain and Ava especially, I don't think I produced enough milk because she always wanted to be nursing. Azura is not like that. And I produce like twice as much milk now when I pump as I did for Ava. Ava had to be nursed to sleep. She just always wanted to be nursing, nursing, nursing. And yeah, I, I'm not even sure now. But anyway, the point is I had to learn a lot about pain because it hurts so bad, like I said, for the first two months. And then she always had to be nursing. So. I couldn't, like my nipples couldn't heal. So some tips I've learned are, and I've not, I haven't seen anyone else talk about this on YouTube, so I wanted to share, but this is called a nipple shell. So basically you can see it's a plastic little shell and you like stick your nipple in here and it like protects your nipple from getting touched by any fabric or being brushed upon like it just hurts so bad at the beginning especially with your first um I mean my first day nursing I had like blood blisters all over my nipples so like I couldn't have anything touching it so the nurses were like boom here you go this like has saved me and also what's nice about it is that it collects the milk so you can like put the milk in Ooh, that just flew right off didn't it you can put the milk in a little bag to save for later but yes a nipple shell will save your life the other thing of course is nipple cream so this one is my favorite it's organic and um, it's called mother love I had one of these in every single room every place that I nurse in the bathroom so I could put it on after I came out of the shower just have loads and loads of loads of that the organic one was the best okay I do hear the baby crying now it wasn't phantom baby squeal so I'm gonna go get her I'll be right back you okay honey bunny Oh, perfect timing because we're talking about you. You okay? I might have to feed her. Yeah, let me see. Where was I? So yeah, you can use that nipple cream and I like the organic ones because that's like going in the baby's mouth. You know, they're probably ingesting a little bit. So the organic one is better. Another thing in terms of pain is you can get a nipple shield. I've never used one of those. I, I'll link to some below just so that that's an option for you. But basically it covers up your nipple so when you are feeding you don't feel the baby like latching and all that kind of stuff there's a barrier in between the fourth thing that is again i've never heard anyone on youtube talk about it but it's so helpful is there are these nipple covers they're like silicone and they're almost like cooling but you can put that on and you can put that on in your bra or you can just put that on whenever like at night but it's like cooling and a little moisture on there so it just like helps heal it if you were like me and you just could not catch a break and everything hurt then those are really good options i'm gonna link to the next tip about nursing is like what do i like better the boppy pillow i've tried the boppy i've tried the breast friend that you like put around yourself and attach it and i've tried this pillow that you like put your arm through so while you're nursing it just like props your arm up so you can hold the baby better um, honestly whatever works for you what I found to work the best is to get a good chair <laughs> it's like not really what you asked but a good chair means that my arm is already supported I could use any pillow or no pillow and still be supporting the baby's head in a way that's like helpful so um yeah if you have a c-section it might be nice to have the breast friend because that kind of protects your scar a little bit so that the baby isn't like kicking it and stuff 
or your your wound I shouldn't say scar it's not a scar yet um, I also had blood clots after Azura was born due to having COVID-19 at nine months pregnant and so I had to give myself shots twice a day in the stomach and it was bruising because it was like blood thinner so I was bruising like crazy um, I'm still on them but not the shots anymore so not bruising like that there but oh my gosh it hurt my stomach so bad so like having one of these to protect you there I would recommend but um if you're on a budget I don't think you really need one of these I'm gonna link to them just so let you have them but um I think a regular pillow honestly works fine and kind of ends up what I use anyway like these just always end up not where I need them when I'm nursing anyway so I kind of end up not using them as much. Next is to invest in a really good pump. So um, I've had five different pumps. I've tried the LV, the Spectra, and three different Medela ones. One at work, one at home, and one in the hospital. So um, my best suggestion is to invest in the LV. So this is what the LV looks like, and it's battery operated and rechargeable and you like plop this into your bra and you turn it on and it pumps while you're walking around like you don't need to be attached to a wall this has been such a lifesaver having a toddler at home two under two has been kind of like really tough and so then it like collects the milk here in the bottom oh my gosh I wish I would have invested in that for the first baby because I just would have gotten more use out of it and just pump more and like had more time to do it like I didn't pump as much with Ava because I shouldn't have the time now I can pump all the time like this thing is amazing it's pricey it's very pricey it's very pricey huh honey but so worth it if you ask me the Spectre is really good I'd say that one's the strongest one out of the ones I've tried and kind of like the fastest and Medela worked great but I just felt like the Spectre was stronger and faster and the LV is so convenient I cannot recommend that one enough so I'm going to link to the LV on Amazon it's so pricey but honestly so worth it for working moms especially um and if you are a stay-at-home mom with like two under two or like more than one kid that is so nice to have so if you either have a lot going on or think you're going to have more than one kid I would highly recommend this LV pump because you're just gonna get the most out of it if you start investing in it or if you invest in it right away and then it seriously just like changed my pumping life my next tip is to get this kind system so this kind system lets you pump right into a bag and that is so nice because with pumping you just clean so many 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 parts all the time that if you don't have to like pump into a bottle and then dump the bottle into a bag and like wash a million bottles that's amazing you just pump right into the bag you oh and then you don't have to pour it into a bottle to feed it to the baby you can like attach a nipple to the top of this so it just saves so many bottles so many washings and I love this the other thing about this that I recommend is when you put it in the freezer freeze it sideways at first so that once it's frozen solid you can like tip it upside down and then I have mine lined up and it's just a really easy way to store and like keep stuff collected and organized and nice speaking of bottles okay my next tip is when you are nursing on one side your other side is gonna leak especially for the first four or five months that's just how it goes so put a haka on there this is a haka you want to touch that don't you and basically you attach this here I'll try to show you while holding her I don't know if I can but you like pull this back like this okay yeah so you pull this back I don't know if I can do this I am so super mom if I can do this pull this back squeeze this part and then this will suction so hardcore to your nipple you can like walk around with it on and all that milk gets caught while you're nursing okay here we go okay see how this like when you aren't holding a baby it's much easier to do basically you're gonna catch all that milk and you're not just gonna leak into your bra or have to wear a pad and like the milk just gets wasted you can actually use it later that's so nice it's so convenient and what I love about this haka is that I can take this off this top and replace it with a bottle top so if I am like 
driving in the car and need to nurse but I'm driving or something or I'm not in the back seat I can use this haka to pump into here and then put this nipple on it and just like feed it to the baby right away so that's really really convenient they do have other sizes I have all kinds I keep some by my nightstand oh you want the bottle okay I'm gonna feed her really quick um I keep it by my nightstand I keep it by my bed I keep them anywhere that I normally pump one moment please didn't expect to actually be nursing in this video so this works out okay the last thing I wanted to say is get a really good nursing bra. I can't remember what brand I have on right now. I think it's Bravo or Bravado or something, but they're really good. I'm going to link to them. Do not get the ones where the pad is not sewn in, where it just like falls out in the wash or whatever. It goes missing or it gets lopsided and lumpy and you like can't fix it. Gosh, those are so annoying. So I bought some of those and I just totally regretted buying them. So I'm letting you know here and now to not do that. So, I think those are all of my breastfeeding tips. Like I said, subscribe for more content like this. I have more coming out that you won't want to miss. And yeah, I have a lot of other mama baby videos. So stick around. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. You okay? Well, you are very hungry. You are very hungry.